If it's neither winning nor losing, but playing that counts for you, listen. This is Nightfall. Good evening, dear friends. I'm Frederick Hend, your referee in tonight's little challenge. Gamesmanship is an old and fascinating occupation, which has involved people's minds and skills for many a year. Tonight, we journey into the future, where some games are played with more zeal than you might be prepared to handle. Assassin Game by John G. Fisher is a story that looks hard at the small print in the rule book. So, pick your player and cross your fingers. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, no, go right ahead. Thanks. Hey, hey, you're Joel Unsen, aren't you? I cannot tell a lie. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, I've seen your picture in the university paper. You're a student at National. That where you're going now? That's right. First day of classes, you know. All right. Your final year, huh? Computer science. Hey, you know an awful lot about me, sir. Oh, well, hey, you're famous, kid. I mean, you made it into the finals last year. That's when I seen your picture. All right. What about the game this year? Are you going to be in it? <laughs> I don't have much choice. You know, it's required by the university, sir. Oh, don't be so modest, Joel. It's only required if your marks are in the top 5%. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't mind if I call you Joel, do you? Whatever you want. Well, Joel, uh, tell me, how many people did you blow away last oh, year to get on. into the finals, I mean? Nobody really gets killed, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, but how many? Uh, okay, I made 17 hits last year. I managed to avoid the same number of attempts on me. <coughs> Satisfied? That's the name of the game. Hit or be hit, sir. Yeah, that's really something. Yeah. Oh, this is my stop coming up. Oh, wait a minute. Good luck to you this year. Uh, just a second. Uh, what's your name? What do you do? Oh, me? Oh, nothing much. I'm a maintenance worker at the University Power Plant. <laughs> National University Transport Center. National University Transport Center. All first-year students report to Quadrant D, Main Auditorium for Processing. Game participants proceed directly to the video annex for the presidential address. Participants are reminded to use pedestrian conveyor 12 only. National University Transport Center. National University Transport Center. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel, over here. Hey, Martin, how the hell are you? Hey, did you have a good summer? <laughs> hey, not bad. <laughs> Welcome back to Video Land. I know, really. I've never seen so many TVs <laughs> except for last year. year. <laughs> same time, the same, same place. place. Another, another year. Another game. <laughs> yep, that's it. So, uh, how's the uh, Star Assassin of National U? Forgetting I lost. Yeah, Marty. I'm remembering you're the only third year student to place in the finals. Come on, hey, uh, you made it to the semis, Marty. Yeah. And between you and me, I'm glad I took that job off from Venezuela. I hear the competition might get too rough this year. Rough? What are you talking about? No, nothing. Just that uh, I won't have to play so hard this year. I got job security. Don't take it so seriously. It's just a game. Listen, I've got to find myself a console. Hey. Presidente's address is in a couple hey, of minutes. Hey, you share mine. Come on, sit down. Okay. Um, I heard some of the third-year students did some pretty rough training all summer. Oh, that, I know. It was illegal. Yeah, illegal as far as the university goes. Some companies call it summer employment. Part of their recruiting <laughs> yeah. program, capitalism yeah. will find a way. Yeah, I think I know exactly how that yeah, is. I think you do, too, Joel. I hear World Petroleum was looking for you at the end of last term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they found me, so yes. what? Yeah, have you signed with them then? I turned them down. I told you I had better things to do than attend one of their training camps. I think that was wise. I mean, I didn't think those guys took no for an answer. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with those guys, that's all. Yeah, screen's on. I wonder what the president's going to come up with this year. Yeah. Concentrate on your studies. A long tradition, tradition of, of scholastic, scholastic excellence. excellence. Welcome. Welcome to the 1994 academic session of the National University. And it has been 14 years since the university instituted the game as an integral part of the curriculum. 
Now that you are in your third or fourth year, I wish to commend you all on your excellent Thank progress. You. Mm. you game participants have proven yourselves to be the best and brightest in the country. That means me he's talking about. And now a word about the game. All right. Section 118 of the criminal code has been revoked for all bona fide game participants. What? Certain practices previously forbidden are now allowed. These include persistently following a participant from place to place, watching a house or place of business where a participant may be, and intimidation of a fellow participant. Although the game is a required part of the curriculum for you, the top 5%, let me remind you that it is a small part of your experience here. First round victim dossiers will be issued this afternoon by the game's computer. All right, Tim. Best of luck to you all. And I tell you, what do you make of that, Joel? I don't like it one bit. On the one hand, he says the games are a small part of our experience here. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, they're revoking the criminal I told code. you it was going to get rougher for us this year. going to get rougher on us and everyone else, too. Yeah, well, I'm off to my department. Oh, wait a sec, I'll walk you. Joel, doesn't it, I mean, doesn't it ever bother you that at the same time as you get someone's dossier, someone else gets yours? Freddie, you're so paranoid. I'm not taking it so seriously. It's just a game. Does it bother you that much? I mean, I mean it doesn't give out names, no, right? No, it doesn't. And if you're careful, you're perfectly safe. Perfectly. Joey, I got a table. Excuse me, miss. Yeah? Do you mind if I sit next to you here, right next to you? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. So, how's the food? Food? I'm talking about the stuff on my plate. <laughs> right, that's a dumb question. Yeah. Is that why you sat down here to ask a dumb question? Yes, I thought I'd just make some dumb conversation mm -hmm. right here. No, I really thought I could talk to you about you over yeah. dinner. You want my phone number, right? Absolutely wrong. No, I thought we could hop Subway, go downtown to a small but very high-class restaurant and mm -hmm. wine and dine until the wee hours, and then we could consummate our relationship on a deserted stretch of beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really want to know what I was thinking, that's what yeah, I was thinking. The beach is in the Caribbean, I suppose. No, very close, mm -hmm. actually. I had a few truckloads of sand dumped on my living room carpet last month, and I thought we could roll around in that. <laughs> okay, you're on. Really? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Just... One more thing. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Dead. You creep! You cheated me! Take it easy. Here, let me take the dart out of your skirt. Get away from me! <laughs> Come on, it's just a game. Just a game like hell! I'm graduating this year. Jeez, if I'd placed high enough, I would have been hired by North American Investment. God, you've blown my whole career! It's not my fault. What was I supposed to do? The computer picture is my victim. I didn't. Gave me all that charming bullshit. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, I meant all that. Oh. I just got interested in you as soon as I uh, read your dossier. You want to talk about all this charming bullshit over, over dinner? Over my or? dead oh. body. And you can pick up my bill. <laughs> you creep. Oh, nice going, Casanova. I caught your whole act. Who the hell are you? An innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. Sure. You're Joel Enson, aren't you? How do you know that? I make a point of knowing who the favorites are. Uh-huh. You have a competitive interest here, miss, or you're just a fan? I play. <laughs> oh, you do? Yes. Put your dart gun away. Relax. I'm not in my car. What'd you say your name was? I didn't. But seeing as you ask, it's Wendy. Wendy Hirsch. Mm-hmm. I was beginning to feel a bit slighted until I realized why you were so interested in that girl. Oh, really? She didn't seem to very interested in me. <laughs> well, not too likely when you blow her away in the last ten minutes of the round. Mm -hmm. You cut it pretty close, don't you? Oh, well, you have to be sure before you make a hit. You hit the wrong person, you're disqualified. How did you know she was going to be here? Oh, habit. I mean, she always eats here. She always eats here at this particular time. It's really a stupid thing to do if you're a player. Regular yeah. habits, you know? Sure, of course. Because the problem with this game is to know your target, where he hangs out, who his friends are, how he works, and when he becomes predictable... <laughs> You got him. Or her. Or her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You seem to know a lot about it. I do. Maybe you'd like to share some of your expertise with somebody. Well, I'm not really used to working with anybody. Why should I really be interested? Has it ever occurred to you that someday you might need a favor? Frankly, no. Uh, look, this isn't strictly business. I like you. 
Really? Yeah, really. Oh. Well, excellent. Well, I don't usually give tutorials, you see. I, I don't usually take them. Oh, well. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just so suspicious at the beginning mm -hmm. of the games. I get really paranoid. I didn't mean to give you such a hard time, honestly. I'm a nice guy. Here's my number. Oh. <laughs> just ask for Casanova. <laughs> it was a nice meeting you, uh... What? Wendy, Wendy Hirsch. Oh, nice meeting you, Wendy, Wendy Hirsch. <laughs> So, uh, see you around. I hope so. But don't you Hello, I'm not in right now, but if you'd care to leave a message, I'll get back to you. Wait for the tone, and thanks for calling. Joe, this is Wendy. Call me as soon as you get in. Hi, Wendy. You can talk to me right now. I'm just using the machine to monitor calls. I'm not interested in letting people know I'm home. You know what I mean? I'm calling you to do you that favor, I promise. I take it you're still active. Still in the game? Well, still lucky. How about you? Still lucky. Good. Congratulations. What's up? You know Glenn Stoner? Glenn Stoner. Telecommunications whiz? Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, graduated last year? Yeah, that's one. Yeah, I heard he'd taken an extended vacation to some tropical paradise, courtesy of satellite communications. Well, he's back, and I had him oh. rig up a phone tap on certain university lines. Ooh, we all have our little helpers, don't we? He's a friend, that's mm -hmm. all. Nothing into Probably it. listening to us right now. <laughs> Anyway, uh -huh. Glenn's been setting up this gear for me, and he's discovered something very interesting. Someone else has been setting up wiretaps, too. Huh? Not a student? No way. No student could have rigged this up, according to Stoner. He couldn't figure out exactly what the guy had done, but he thinks whatever it was has some kind of destructive capability. Destructive capability? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? So, I'll put it to you this way, and this is the favor. Mm -hmm. Don't answer your phone, Okay. Don't even let your answering machine answer your phone. Well, thanks for calling. Uh, Martin Varney speaking. You are a student at National uh, University. You mm. study political science, correct? <laughs> so... Is that... Who is this? A yes or a no will do. <clears throat> um, what if I am? We have reason to believe that you are considering working with the Venezuelan government. Uh, th that's none of your business, mister. I'm afraid it is my business. We feel that your employment by that government would be contrary to our best interests. That doesn't mean a thing to me. What if it's contrary to your best interests? And I'd say you were trying to threaten me, mister. I am authorized to offer alternative employment. Not interested. Don't be stupid, kid. This is very real. This isn't some classroom exercise. I'm still not interested. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Now, now listen, who is this? Hello? You still listen? <laughs> Attention students, game participants are requested to report to the Central Games computer for victim dossiers. Participants are reminded to use pedestrian conveyor. Hey, hey Joel! Uh, hey, watch it! Excuse me, let a girl get by. Joel! Are you still playing, Wendy? Well, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be on this conveyor. Well, do you see that bank of bright lights up ahead? Yeah. That's why you're on this conveyor. When you pass through that light, they know who you are, what you are, whatever you've done during your illustrious academic career. Yeah, actually, we're on this conveyor, so they know whether or not you're playing the game for security. Oh, well, here we go. You never know. Did you hear the news? What news? player from political science got his head blown to pieces. Well, you spare me the details, okay? Well, you remember what I was telling you about phone taps and about destructive capabilities? Well, I think you're reading a lot into this, Wendy. I mean, I read in the papers his death was listed as accidental. Yeah, well, it could have been your head all over the wall instead of that guy. That guy's name was Martin. He was my best friend, so... Thanks, anyway, okay? Um, Joe, I'm sorry. Really, I, I'm sorry I didn't know. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'd just like to forget about the whole thing, if you don't mind, okay? Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Time to get off. Um, there's my line of um, uh, see you around. Okay, look, uh, you, you want to have a beer? When? Uh, tonight I'll meet you at the uh, inner circuit around 8.30. You, Alec, may be my best friend. Right. 
Okay, Alec, I'm going to voice feed you the data on my next victim. I want you to run the usual analysis. Are you ready? I have already saved that. Uh, so you have. Okay, here we go. Female, age 24, brown eyes, brown hair, height 1.82 meters, weight 49K. The information is incomplete. Hmm? Oh, right, sorry. Uh, Department of Telecommunications, third year. Working? Oh, uh, Alec, I want you to tap into the Central Games computer and extract everything you can about her track record. Working. One more thing, Alec. Yes, sir? See if you can find out if this person has any industrial or political sponsor. Sponsors are forbidden under Section 5 of game regulations. So are you, Alec. Be careful, I wouldn't like it if you were traced back to me. Working. And, and don't print any of the information. I'll ask for it when I get back. I have a date. With whom? I didn't program you to pry into my personal life. I'll see you later. Joe? Yes, Alec? Be careful. Don't worry about it. Working. Good evening, Wendy. Oh, if it isn't my knight in shining armor. I hope this isn't your idea of a nice place. Well, I never said anything about it being nice. Listen, you come here often. I mean, fun land? Hmm. Well, it's out of the way, for one thing, and uh, I used to work here in the summer, you know. Hmm. This makes you a natural for National University. Scholarships, most promising student. Uh, I'm not sure I get the connection. What was in your envelope? Huh? Oh, my next victim. I haven't thought about it. I'm on holidays tonight. You're not trying to tell me you didn't even look at the dossier. Of course I looked at it. It's nobody special. It's a piece of cake. How about you? I'm working on it. Let's just forget about it for tonight, okay? I need a rest and so do you. Oh! Wendy! Wendy! I'm fine. Let's go! This way! Come on! You all right? Your hair stinks. You got burned. Are you? My arms got scorched. Ow. Leave me alone, okay? I'm okay. What do you think, you or me? Who was supposed to get fried? You. It was you they wanted. But who? Some student with my dossier who decided to play for keeps? I saw him. It was someone from school. It was a goddamn laser pistol. A laser pistol. Joel, I'd like you to be stayed at my place tonight. I'll fix your arm. Yeah, okay. Joel? Mm-hmm. Are you awake? Yeah. What time is it? I don't know, uh, 5.40 something. It's just starting to get light out. Kiss. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about? I don't know, I just... I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking about Martin getting killed that way. Yeah. Maybe you're right, maybe it wasn't an accident. Look, I'm going to head out to the school. The trains will be empty now. Good morning. You're Joel Hunson, aren't you? No. Oh, it's you. You're the guy who works at the power plant, right? What's with the suit? May I sit down? Sure. I'm employed by World Petroleum. Here are my credentials. So, you work for World Petroleum. So what? We heard you were attacked last night with a real weapon. A weapon very much like this one. I didn't really get a very close look. I assume that's a laser pistol? Correct. Here, take it. We'd like you to keep it, Joel. We're interested in you, and we like to protect our interests. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. This would almost kill me. How do I know you're not just giving these out like candy? <laughs> you don't. Joel, look at your arm. The game is a little more serious this year, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, I'd say so. And World Petroleum is not the only corporation taking an active interest in the outcome, is it? What do you mean? You were friends with Martin Varney, weren't you? We think satellite communications had something to do with his accident. So take the weapon. Or, if you'd rather, just leave it there on the seat. Someone else might use it. It's up to you. I look forward to seeing you graduate, Joel. Well, if I graduate... Oh, we're counting on you. Goodbye. <laughs> National University Transport Center. National University Transport Center. Sorry I'm late, Jim. That's okay. Sit down. What's in your mind? Listen, I've been thinking that you should quit the game. Forget. Oh, at least consider it. 
Look, it's not me who's getting shot at. You should quit. My point is that the game is being used by some very powerful people from outside the university. I think, I don't know, I think they're trying to protect their interests somehow. They're eliminating potential competition. I think they have access to the game's computer and they used it to set me up. I don't think that degree of manipulation is possible. You think Martin's name was picked out of a hat or something? But who would want Martin's head? And who would want yours? You know, the university needs funding. Where does it go? Industry. Right. Question two. Who administers that game? Is your president and the board of governors. The same people that go hat in hand to ask for money. So what do we do? So what do we do? We see the president. But okay, okay. But if he doesn't know what's going on, then we'll tell him. And if he knows? Oh, if he knows, then we both quit. We tell everyone we know to do the same thing, and we go to the newspapers. If he let us. <sighs> right, right. But how do we find out if he's involved without letting him know we know? You know, I guess we have to check out his office after hours. There must be something in there that'll tell us one way or the other. I finished class at five. Not too early, too early. If we wait until 9.30, maybe there won't be anybody around, okay? Okay. Good. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, I'm not in right now, but if you'd care to leave a message, I'll get back to you. Alec, are you Thanks monitoring this? Call. One marquee override. This is Joel. Voice print match. Hello, Joel. Alex, listen, I want you to scramble this and answer the following questions. Red. Question one, is there an external tap into the Central Games computer? I have an external tap into the Central Games computer. Thank you, Alec. Is there another external tap into the Central Games computer? Working. Yes. I knew it. What's its capability? Control. Who's its parent? Question two. What's the result of the analysis on my next victim? Probable identity, Wendy Hirsch. How probable? 92%. Subject to made 12 kills last year. Method in eight of 12 kills was to gain confidence of victim. Stop. Men. Hirsch, Wendy, sponsor inquiry. Ranked as second draft choice by Satellite Communications International. Probability of affiliation, 86%. Thanks, Alec. I'll be home late tonight. Joel? Joel? I'm behind you, Wendy. Oh, there you are. What's with the surprise? You're my next victim. You got me. I'm dead, okay? I'll register it tomorrow. I want to ask you something about satellite communications. I thought we were going to the president's office. This is not a dart gun. Joe, what's happened? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're ranked number two by satellite communications. They must think a lot of you. Did they put you up to it? Satellite has been paying my way for the past two years. Mm -hmm. I'm a scholarship student, but I don't work for Oh, them. I see. I don't suppose you had anything to do with my getting shot at. No, I did not. But let me ask you a question. Who gave you that laser pistol? Someone from World Petroleum. They thought I might need it. Oh, you're playing right in their hands. Who do you think arranged for me to be your next victim? You know who mine is? It's you, Joel. That's a nice coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't believe in coincidence. Then why are you holding that pistol on me? You knew about the phones and you work for Satellite. I don't. You say you don't. Satellite killed Martin probably with a little help. Why are you laying that on me? I think you killed Martin. Use it. If you think I killed him, use it. Tell me. Tell me. I didn't. If you don't believe me, shoot. Wendy, wait. Wait. I believe you. Let's get into this office. So this is what this place actually looks like. A presidential desk. And a television camera. I guess he makes his broadcasts from here. What are all these mirrors for? No idea. Just check that desk out over there. The light's so dim, I can hardly see. I found a switch here. What's that red light? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. It's getting brighter. Get back. Oh, my God. Look. I think we're about to meet the president in person. Welcome. 
Welcome to the 1994 academic session of the National He's University. He's transparent. Projection's getting Today stronger. Today is the 66th anniversary it's a of the It's the president's it's living 3D. And it has been 14 years. I don't tell you set this up. Satellite communications. Oh, well, Petroleum. Both. Jesus will fix you. Oh, God, look. Joe, those, those, those red lights. The cameras are operating. Not for long, they're not. <laughs> Listen to the alarms! Let's get out of here! Hurry! I'm coming! I'm coming! So, this is where you live. I'll introduce you to Alec. Alec? My computer, I built him. The secret of your success? Well, let's just say he's a big help. He can tap into the game's computer. Watch this. I'll put Alec through his paces. I want to check on the new victim assignments. What for? I had Alec do a sponsor inquiry on you. I'd never done that before. I want him to do it again, except this time for all the remaining active players. I don't know. There should be about 400 of them. Mm. Wendy, we still haven't got to the bottom of this. There, there might be a pattern in the selection of victims that'll show us who's running the game. Do it. Ready? Alec, I want you to cut into the game's computer and examine the ninth round victim assignments. And then a sponsor inquiry on the remaining players. Working. Pretty impressive. Yeah, but this should take him a while. He's still impressive. Listen, Wendy, I'm worried. Those two cameras in the hall, I didn't knock them out. They know who we are, right? I don't know. If they don't know already, they will tomorrow. What should we do? You tell me. Right now, we'll just have to wait for Alec. So, look, Alec is blinking. The program has recently been altered at source. What does that mean? Alec has come up with an anomaly. He's never seen this before. Alec, report. The ninth round victim dispersant is repetitive. W- well? The number discrepancy. Assassin assignment for ninth round, 387 players. A victim assignment for ninth round consists of two names only. Names? Since when is it giving out names? It never gives out names. Report, Alec. Give me all the assigned victims for the next round. Joel Unsen, Wendy Hirsch. Joel Unsen, Wendy Hirsch. Joel Unsen, Wendy Hirsch. Oh, no. Joel Unsen, Just the two Wendy Hirsch. And Joel they Unsen. all have our names. Joel Unsen, Wendy Hirsch. Joel Unsen, Wendy Hirsch. Joel There are times when reaching the top can be very lonely indeed. Here's Mr. Hunt. The Assassin Game by John G. Fisher starred Saul Rubinick as Joel and Nikki Guadani as Wendy. Also featured were David Ferry as Martin, Rafe McPherson as Alex, Peter Jobin as the computer and the man, Chris Wiggins as the president, and Barbara Kyle as Miss and the PA announcer. Technical engineering was by Brian Pape with sound effects by Kathy Perry. Production assistant, Peggy Este. Assassin Game was produced and directed in Toronto by Stephen Katz. Now, your host. I'm Frederick Hend for Nightfall. <laughs>